What's up everybody? It's King Kunta, and I know I've been gone for a couple days, and uh, boy do I have a story to tell you. So, first things first, uh, long story short, I guess, uh, well our internet got shut off for some reason, there's some issue going on around where I live and some tower being down or something. So I didn't have it, uh, any internet for a week, which is killing me, because I can't get out content to you guys if I have no internet. And, uh, yeah. But now, it's finally all fixed, and I'm back and ready to make more amazing YouTube videos for you guys. So, uh, I just ask that before you watch this video all the way to the end, or if you do watch it all the way to the end, if you could just leave a like, or comment, or subscribe, or anything like that, it really helps the channel out. It also continues to make it so I can keep bringing you guys content. So... Today we're going to be farming a dungeon that actually I've seen a couple people start doing more recently. And uh, that dungeon is going to be uh, Gundrak. Some of you might know where that is, some of you might not. But we're basically going to be farming it because it's basically a transmog uh, hub now, a days at least. Um, I've seen people make, you know, at least 130k gold and at least 30 minutes being here. So there's a potential. I mean, I've seen numbers pretty insane. So I'm just going to give you the most reasonable one that I have, which is... I see here it's in my notes. Uh, 276,000 gold in one hour. One guy has reportedly got just on this farm alone. Now, the the thing about this farm is it makes it quite easy to farm the way it's set up. So instead of me just like keep telling you about the farm, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the video right about sometime soon, and we'll see you at the farm. See you there. What's up everybody? So we're back and we are at the farming location now, as you can see, and we are at Gundrak, which is an instance located in Northern in Zaldrak. Zaldrak, I think I'm saying that right. I might not be. I'll know I'll hear it in the comment section either way. So the place we want to come to is this little like uh, totem statue kind of area outside right there. Just so you guys have absolutely like 100% of an idea where it's located. Right there. So obviously, before you do head into the dungeon, I recommend you get Bear Tartar. Obviously, as with any of the farms that I've been doing recently, they've all kind of required this in one way or another, and uh, really does help. So this dungeon is actually quite simple for farming, in the fact that really all you have to do is pull the uh, mobs on the outsides, and it's made quite easy with. Um, the use of bear tartar because that does speed everything up significantly also if you are a droid you can do things like what I just did there um, for aggro or not aggro sorry uh, to get the speed buff so what you're gonna want to do is basically aggro everyone in here just like that and we're just gonna get them to follow us throughout the entire instance now there are some mobs that you are able just to uh, kill quickly and then run away or sorry not mobs bosses that you can do that too so I will show you like in a second also this dungeon is one of the few dungeons that gives some of the most uh, reputation uh, in the game actually if you have a tabard or something like that and you're trying to build your up this dungeon gives a ton of it so go ahead and we'll just start aggroing all these and we're basically gonna do this for every room that we come across so as you can see here, we can actually go ahead and we can kill this boss. We just want to aggro these. As you can see we'll take him with us. And you can loot these guys while you're waiting. This is also quite a good frost weave cloth farm, too. Just in case you're wondering. And we're going to get all these snake people. This is kind of goes along with any other instance that you're gonna run you're basically just gonna try to aggro everything some things are easier some things are a little bit tougher as you can see here going in the snake room we're gonna get both packs of these snakes Let's come through here I'll show you on the map so now that we got all the snakes and we basically kind of ran all the way through here you don't really have to go get the other bosses if you don't want to it's up to you and we're just gonna keep going through the dungeon as you can see some people will uh, actually will just pull until this area right here which is quite common and there's also there's a couple lore instances and also I probably got the volume up a little too high we're gonna loot these guys 
And yes, I know I don't have auto loot on. So you got a green there. Bunch of frosty. There we go. And also some moats of water. You can also skin some of these too if you need boring leather scraps, but chances are you probably aren't really going to need those. There are many different ways to run this instance. The way you just saw was probably the quickest way to go about the entire thing. Uh, you can do it a few other ways as well, but the way I do it is how we just did it basically. We did get a couple greens actually worth some decent gold value, but nothing crazy. Um, this dungeon can be ran quite quickly if you know what you're doing. And as you can see, I'm going to just go ahead and walk back just to show you. We did get everything. And you can go throughout the Cave of the Mammoth too if you'd like, and all the way throughout there as well. It's totally up to you guys. And as you can see, the dungeon is kind of over, so it's pretty much done. Now there is a ton of transmog that drops out of here, which is the main reason that we chose this dungeon in the first place is the fact that you're able to get a crazy amount of transmog from this place is kind of a little bit overpowered at the moment right now I'd say. It's not it's nothing crazy like the level 59 farm but it is to a point where it's a bit much if you know what I mean. Um, I definitely recommend you guys go do this now because I have started seeing a few people start posting videos on this so this farm is gonna get used quite quickly. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend you guys come check this out as soon as you possibly can because it will uh, give you the ability to get some transmog pieces on the auction house uh, quite quickly. Also, you do want to kill the bosses because the bosses do drop gear as well. You can see right there. Now, in some instances, uh, some of the mobs will actually uh, drop some pretty crazy insane uh, transmog gear which I recommend you guys go get. You can go into this little secret area after the boss after you kill him and you can kill these like weird looking like hoppy creature things as long as there's another boss uh, in here as well. So we'll go ahead and show you him. He's actually should be over here. As you can see we've got all these people causing issues. You just AOE them down and then out comes this guy. Get a few more greens right there, and then we'll just go ahead and kill him. And nothing. Yeah, he didn't have anything on him. And uh, that's really all this dungeon is. And as you can see, there's not actually uh, a whole lot to it after you do finish it. Um, yeah, so you're <laughs> pretty much good to go, like I said. Um, you basically just want to follow the way that I ran the dungeon, and you should uh, have a decent amount of looted item value at the end of it and it's very popular right now and I feel like it's just gonna keep going up in popularity just because of how useful the farm is in general so I definitely recommend you guys come check this out uh, now and I'm just gonna go ahead and just kinda show you guys the rest of the dungeon uh, and that what you need to do and all that good stuff also I'd like to take this opportunity right here to talk about my YouTube channel for a little bit so I know you guys knew I was gone for a little bit and it kind of cut off the flow of everything but I don't plan on having any other issues like that uh, in the future at least I hope not I really hope we don't have any more of those because that kind of caused a big issue in the fact that I wasn't able to put out content for quite a bit and uh, it was kind of annoying on your guys' part I'd assume as well but I did kind of bring him back with this really good farm that you guys need to check out and go do it now while you can because there will be a point where it's too late. Also you do get a lot of greens out of this. And honestly I really think that's kind of all I have for the video for you guys today. So you can see the dungeon is kind of short in the way that we ran it and we can just leave the instance right um, after that obviously where you can keep following the dungeon and go all the way to the end. It really, the technique you use for this kinda doesn't matter like at all, really. It's all preference. I definitely could go ahead and kill the guy at the end, but it's up to you. So this, go up here and I'll just go ahead and show you like the exit to the instance location and stuff like that. 
But after you do kill all those, that's really all you need to know. And also, before you do uh, exit this video or whatever you guys are planning on doing, I just ask that if you guys could leave a like uh, or maybe a comment or anything down below to help show some support. Uh, YouTube isn't easy, especially while being a college student, but you guys make it, you know, make me able to create things like this. So I like creating content for you guys, and I hope you all enjoy it, and I just knocked my candle over. But I hope you guys all enjoy it, and I will see each and every one of you beautiful people in the next one. Goodbye.